Hey, Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another Mail Day video. Yeah, big thank you to our guys, Tim and Jack, some awesome trading partners that we've uh, gone back and forth with many a time. And boy, he has just hit us at a rate that is too fast <laughs> at this point. I think he's hit us twice in the last like two weeks. And we've got his big stack of cards sitting there that we got to send out. So we're going to try and get those mm -hmm. out before the national. Uh, but he always puts a nice note in there. And, and you wanted to, to talk about this. Mm -hmm. So it says, Zach and Porter, as the baseball season hits the midway point, I would help, I would help you celebrate two events, the All-Star Game and the Home Run Derby. Or excuse me, not the Home Run Derby, the Hall of Fame induction. The 1988 All-Star set is complete except for number 44, Willie McGee. You'll also find some cards of the games immortals who are in Cooperstown. Then some for your team and your player collections. The Baines 88 All-Star is for your PC. Happy collecting, Tim. Yeah, so here is the 1988 All-Star set. So we've got this. We're not going to go through that because I thought, uh, especially for somebody that grew up in this era, the pop-up cards were the, were the real treasure of that. So we're going to show all of the pop-up cards from the 88 set. Uh, and just, it's fantastic, because honestly, Tim, we didn't have hardly any of those all-star cards, so it was a great pickup for kind of the Junk Wax PC, uh, and then he also included a lot of all-time greats, like he was talking about with some of those cool, um, they're not TCMA sets, but they're like the high-grade sets, so we're going to show those off as well, but what was really cool for Porter was you've not ripped or received much of 2023 Donruss. And he must be ripping this because he included quite a few along with some doubles. And Babe we, Herman and Jim Gilliam. Yep. So Gilliam uh, was from, I believe, the Brooklyn Dodgers. And Babe Herman. Both of them were? Yeah. I did not know that. Okay, so I'm learning something new. And then a bunch of uh, new White Sox players. Colson. Yeah, I'm hoping they call him up. He's been doing really well. Nice uh, 1990 throwback there with Mags. Um, here is a Noah Schultz. Another Colson. Which is that a rated rookie or rated prospect? Rated prospect. Gotcha. And an Oscar Colas rated prospect. Yeah, he uh, started the season with the White Sox, then kind of got sent back down, started raking in, I think, double A AA or triple A. They brought him back up, and he's still, uh, I don't know. And then a stack of Diamond Kings. Here is a Duke Snyder. Here is the Tom Seaver. Juan Marichal, who is actually going to be at the National. And i got to pay more attention to who teams play for now that you and I are hooked to Immaculate Grid. And Wade Boggs. <laughs> for a lot of these all-time greats, because it feels like like a guy like Mark Hoyle, I mean, he, he just breeze, uh, breezes right through these because he knows so much about all of the transactions that happened back in the day. Mm -hmm. Cool Willie Stargell there. Ken Griffey Jr., and then before you show those, I'm actually going to show the ones that he sent for the old man. So uh, I think it's really cool that Donruss actually put Pudge Fisk on the White Sox for this set. So we've got a base card here, and then we've also got an the orange gold. foil. Or orange. Uh, then another Frank Thomas for the PC, the Diamond Kings. Very cool there. And I can't believe they did this. This is so awesome. This guy gets overlooked so often. Uh, he was a great White Sox player, great third baseman. Uh, Golden Gloves, All-Star. In fact, he, and he was hitting a ton of Grand Slams back in the day as well. So it's nice to see Donruss um, actually put some... And see, here, let's see. Ventura lingering around third base was never a pleasant one. Uh, he was All-Star, 1,000-plus career runs. He had a bunch of Golden Gloves. How many homers did he have? He had 294 in his career. His batting average was 267, and he had 1,800 hits. Mm. But he, uh, he, was a, he was a great White Sox player. That's a player. good career. He was the heyday for me. Ed Walsh. So these are some of those baseball immortals. Lefty Grove and Al Simmons. Yeah, and you had a few of those, but you wanted to show off your favorites. And a Jim Abbott. Pretty yeah, and, cool. and that is another one for the PC. And you're top 15 now, I believe, with uh, with Jim Abbott. So he did talk about the Harold Baines card. So we got one of these for the PC and one for the set. We did not have this, so it's great to add that. And I love that jersey. Love the Curse of C. And then, you know, guys my age... They'll remember these pop-up cards, and Porter and I have always gone back and forth because he wants to pop them, and mm -hmm. I think I did let you do that with, like, the Whitey Herzog yeah. and a few of the old ones, but we're not going to do that with these, but this is the complete set, so we'll show them all. Dave Winfield, and if you're not familiar, like, you can see on the back, it showed you the directions, you know, fold and pop. Here is the George Bell. Yeah, who I've talked about. 
very fond of him, and he he had a stop with both the White Sox and the Cubs. In fact, I believe he's the guy we traded Sammy Sosa for. Ryan Sandberg, shout out to our guy Diego. Gary Carter. Jack Clark from your St. Louis Cardinals. Mike Schmidt. Got Ozzy Smith, the Wizard. The Wizard of Oz. Daryl Strawberry. And we've got Eric Davis. Did not have this, so this is going to go in the binder. The Hawk. Yeah, shout out to Baseman Card Collector. Huge Andre Dawson fan. Then we got a guy who was a great pitcher for the Astros, Mike Scott. He and he Nolan was, Ryan were... He was just on Immaculate Grid. Well, he, he could be on I mean, yeah. there, there are many people that are on Immaculate <laughs> Grid. You're saying we had him on yeah, Immaculate Grid. Yes, yeah, we yeah. did. Ricky? Yeah, didn't have that either. So that goes in the Ricky Henderson binder. Got Davey Johnson. So this is cool that they actually had the coach's card. And when you look at something like this, it does always make me think, why do the coaches wear the uniform? You know, in the NFL, they don't. NBA, they're always suited up. I, I still find it funny, especially as the guy's age. The younger guys, if you look like Gabe Kapler, you walk out of a magazine. I mean, I mean, maybe you look all right, but yeah, you know, when Tony LaRusso was still wearing the uniform a couple years ago. That was weird. Yeah, it looked a little, <laughs> little off kilter there. Don Mattingly. Willie Randolph. The Iron Man, Cal Ripken. Brett Saberhagen. Oh, man, I love Brett Saberhagen. He was a stud. And then we'll finish up. Shout out to Mark Hoyle, two Red Sox. We got Wade Boggs, the chicken man. Uh, and then another and coach John card. McNamara. You know, again, that's John was, uh, you know, the age bracket where, yeah, probably would have been better if he could just have worn you know, like a windbreaker and <laughs> maybe some golf pants or something. Yeah. But I don't know. You know, throwing that uniform on at a certain age, you, you start to expose yourself. So this was just another great mail day. Uh, Tim and Jack, they don't do videos, but I know that they comment and they've... Uh, I believe, been able to pick up a few, um, uh, make more uh, trading partners with some of the folks that watch our videos, which is fantastic. That's what this community is all about. And we are just days away from the National. We're excited to be able to meet many of the people that we've met through our channel uh, in person. So we are excited. And if anybody's traveling in for that, uh, please travel safely. I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.